Michigan's governor says it's a sad day in his state. This is What's News on WSJ Live. I'm Joanne Poe. Governor Rick Snyder declaring a financial emergency in Detroit today and announcing plans to appoint a financial manager to oversee the state's largest city to get it back on track. A recent report shows that Detroit is running out of money and funds its current obligations by borrowing. Detroit's long liabilities, which are currently estimated about $14 billion, have grown, especially in pensions and health care for retired city workers. Meantime, the news isn't all bad in Detroit today. Sales of new vehicles in the U.S. continue to rise in February. General Motors reporting an increase of 7.2 percent, Ford seeing an increase of 9.3 percent, and Chrysler Group reporting a jump of 4.1 percent in sales. And in the tech world, the U.S. winning an appeal in its battle to extradite mega upload founder Kim.com from New Zealand. U.S. authorities will now only have to summarize its case against Mr.com instead of having to hand over evidence. Mr.com, who was arrested in Auckland in early 2012, vows to fight the extradition to the U.S. for trial on charges including copyright infringement. The FBI shut down Mega Upload, alleging the site was used to pirate content valued at about $500 million. We'll keep you posted on all the latest news developments throughout the day on What's News on WSJ Live.